Happy Monday, everybody. I hope that you had a great weekend and that you had a great Mother's Day with your family and with your mom and that you showed her yesterday how much you love and appreciate her. If you don't know me, I'm Pastor Chad. I'm the youth pastor at Christ Chapel Dublin. Uh, we are in week eight of a devotion series that we've been doing each day, uh, coming together on Wednesday nights and listening to a live stream by youthgroupathome.com by the YM360 group. Pastor Andy's been leading us through uh, devotions each Wednesday night uh, live stream. And then we've been doing discussion questions each day as we dig deeper into the word uh, based on what we learn on Wednesday nights from Pastor Andy. Uh, we've been doing this for eight weeks now, and it, we are getting ready uh, this week to have week nine. Um, this was the last week in the four-week set that we've been looking at Paul and his discussions in 2 Corinthians where he talked about his weakness and his need for God's strength in his life. And so we've been looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 12 We've been digging into those verses each night for the past few days. And so tonight, I want to bring you a discuss our next to last discussion question for the week. Uh, it's a pretty simple question, but I think it, if we allow for God to speak to us in this moment, if we allow for God to speak to us through his Holy Spirit in our quiet time today, as we consider this question, I think it will bring us to a place of hopefully God revealing to us some areas where we need some improvement. Uh, but the discussion question today is, um, what in your life have you held on to instead of surrendering it to God? What will it take for you to let go and allow God to demonstrate his power in and through you? It's a very simple question, yet I think uh, many times we would read this question uh, first pass and we would immediately go, oh, we're not holding anything back from God. We're, we're allowing God to, to be our strength in every aspect of our lives. But today, I think it's incredibly important that we would have a question like this at a time where we do have more time to sit before the Lord and to listen carefully for his instructions and for his Holy Spirit to speak to us. You see, I think that question brings up a point that many of us in our lives, we don't really want to get to a point where we're still and quiet enough for God to speak to us over every single aspect of our lives. See, because I think, if I'm honest with you, we all hold on to very small parts of our lives. And we, while we feel like that we're doing good in most of our lives, we tend to hold on to very small, tiny fragments in our lives. I guess out of pride, out of weakness, out of fear, out of anxiety or worry, out of uh, feeling like we're letting God down. Um, I really don't know. It could be a lot of different things for a lot of different people. And I think what it is determines um, why we're holding on. Uh, as a parent, there are times where I want to hold on to my children and I want to do what I think is best. And it really takes an act of weakness on my part to realize that I can't make anything happen for my children. As a youth pastor, I spend countless hours worrying about my teens. I see things on social media and I, I see attitudes and emotions that show up and after doing this for 20 years, I tend to know what a lot of those attitudes and emotions are connected to. And it's very difficult sometimes because I feel like that I have to do things. I have to make it work. I have to work it out. And many times throughout my life, God has shown me that no matter how strong I think I am, no matter how much I want to intervene, no matter how much I want to uh, come up with a different idea, that he's in control, not me. And I think that's an important lesson for us all to consider tonight. As we consider this discussion question from the Lord tonight, what are some areas in our lives that we just continue to hold on to and not give freely and completely over to God? We continue to feel like that we're going to work it out ourselves. We're going to make it work out. Um, I think about, you know, so many different aspects of our lives that we, we're willing to give God a lot of the things in our life, but we're not willing to give him everything. And so tonight, I'll, I just want to encourage you very simply through this discussion question to sit before the Lord tonight, to sit and listen and ask God to reveal himself to you. 
Maybe there's an area of your life that, that you've forgotten about or that you haven't really considered uh, as being something that you're holding back from God. But tonight, my prayer is that we would sit before the Holy Spirit and we would ask the Holy Spirit to reveal in us areas of our life that we continue to hold on to that, that in this season, more importantly than any season of our lives, that we need to give over to God, that we need to seek his strength in areas that we admit our weaknesses, we admit our inability to control or to make work out. God's looking to make us mature and whole. And, and if we're gonna go through that process, if we're gonna go through that refining process of being put through the fire and, and come out pure and complete on the other side, we're gonna have to lay before the Lord every aspect of our lives and be 100% honest with Him about where we are, about what we're afraid of, about what we're weak in. And we have to do that in a way where we're not worried about being judged, but we're, we're laying before the Lord our complete lives knowing that he already knows. He already knows every part of our lives. He already knows everything. He's just waiting on us to come to the, the mindset, to come to the realization that he's for us and he's not against us. Come to an, a point in our lives where we trust God completely. And in trusting God completely, we're able to give him every single part of our lives and hold nothing back. Because I think that those things that we hold back from God are the things that are holding us back from being who God wants us to be. And so I want to encourage you to do that tonight. It's, it's a scary process, I know. It's very intimidating to, to be completely open and honest with anybody. But I can assure you that the God of all creation, the God of our Father, he, he's, he's gonna be right there in patience and in love ready to give us whatever we need, ready to talk to us and correct us. As a parent, when I correct my children, I'm not doing it out of anger or uh, trying to lord over my children. But as a parent, when we discipline our children, we're doing it out of love. And I think it's important for us to see God as our father tonight, seeking out to discipline us, to correct us, and to maybe help us grow a little bit. So that's my prayer for you tonight, that you would allow God to speak to you, to speak over your life, and that tonight you can just spend some time being honest before the Lord, that he might reveal some areas of our life that we continue to hold on to because we wanna control it. But tonight I want you to go to bed and I want you to go with, with the clearest conscience, with the, the clearest mind that you've ever had because you're not holding on to anything. You're giving God everything. And when we give God everything, it's not weakness that we're showing. It's, it's our dependence on Him is what we're showing. And I can assure you, once we're completely dependent on God, we will have all that we need. God will supply every need that we have if we'll just be honest before him. So if you will, I'd like to pray for you tonight as we get ready to close and pray that God would just bless your private time, your quiet time, your, your personal relationship time with him tonight in a very special way. If you will, let's bow and let's pray together. Father God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, God, for loving us the way that you do. God, you, you want us to be whole. You want us to be strong. And, and God, you know that if we're strong in ourselves, then we're really not strong. It's only when we're honest with ourselves and we see our weaknesses and our areas that we need help in, only then can we be truly strong in you. So God, my prayer tonight is that your Holy Spirit will reveal to us areas of our life that we're holding on to. Maybe we're parents and we're holding on to finances and we're trying to control things that we just need to give over to you. Maybe as parents, we're holding on to our children too tightly. We're trying to control things that we weren't meant to control. And God's asking us tonight to let go. Maybe we're a teen tonight and 
We're focused so much on making it happen for ourselves. We study over a, a, a every single moment of every single day. We we worry about how we're going to perform in, in a, as an athlete or as a uh, in our extracurriculars. God, we stress and we worry and we we get anxious. And tonight, God's asking us to let go. And my prayer is that regardless of what it is, something I've named or something that. I have it, God, that your Holy Spirit would reveal an area of our life that we're holding on to, an area of our lives that we need to give over to you. And God, when we do that, we're not just giving you control over that area of our life. God, we're giving you the worry and anxiety that we have over that area as well. Because God, when we give you control, we're no longer in the driver's seat. And God, while that can be very scary, that can also be very freeing. So God, help us to see that tonight. Help us to see that you're calling us to be honest before you tonight. To lay bare every part of our lives. So that God, you can speak over our lives and bring us to a level of maturity and hope and completeness that we've never experienced before. God, I pray your favor and your blessings be over us. God, I pray that we would be able to make the difficult transition of giving up control to relinquish every part of our lives over to you. And God, I love you and thank you for loving us and caring about us enough to be patient and, and to be so helpful as you try and complete us so that we can become who you made us to be. God, I love you and I thank you. And it's in your name I pray. Amen. I pray that you have a great evening and that you enjoy spending time before the Lord tonight. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow for our last devotion of the day for week eight. And then as we prepare for week nine on Wednesday, I uh, look forward to seeing you then. But until then, know that we love you. We pray for you daily and we just appreciate you spending time with us tonight. Have a great night.